Do everything in your power to, to, to have the optimal experience on earth while you can, bro. Because a lot of niggas are getting different experiences, bro. And it's sad, bro. It's sad. Like, it's sad. Like, if we... I, I know what it's like for... I, I know what it's like for girls to tell me stories about niggas that they've tolerated. And to have stories about niggas that they've revered. It's a different experience, bro. Do whatever you need to do to get on the good side. I was like, don't Yeah. What's your name, huh? Wow, man. This is why you... I don't know. I don't want to come off as, like, red pillish, but, like, I think this is why you should try to be the best version of yourself, bro. Because the nigga she with, probably a cool nigga, bro. You probably go to the gym, you know, three times a week. You probably make, like, you know what I mean, $63,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? He probably dressed pretty cool. You know what I mean? His hairline probably a little fucked up. But he probably a cool nigga, bro. He probably a cool nigga. She a little barista. You know what I'm saying? He probably giving her quality time. But it's just like when you aren't the optimal version of yourself, you get cer you, you, certain things happen to you that it's not necessarily your fault. It's just like you, it just so happened that that shit happened. Like We back, we back, we back. With another reaction we here with. Hold on, my fault. You've been warned. Ugly men do not approach women. Okay, alright, shit. Let's hear what she gotta say. I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine. And I'm gonna tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it, but it scared me. I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. All right. So this tee guy, up, tee up, tee up. I'm a, alone with my son, by myself, a woman, and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's excuse me, miss, and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. And before he, I mean, he was probably, 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and i turned around and i literally yelled at him and i said do not approach me and he like immediately started going in the other direction and i just kept saying it over and over and over i said do not approach me do not approach me and he of course like got like what the f did it like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like what's con continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot what do you think son what the fuck eight or nine for that i'd use this manscaped huh son she really like she really rebuked him like she dead ass like no swiper swiper no swiping that nigga bro like i was trying to think like yo i've seen this before that's literally swiper no swiping she literally yelled at that nigga and she said and he walked up on the nigga or he walked up on her she said swiper no swiping swiper no swiping swiper no swiping that's crazy before i go ahead and begin analyzing this clip i'm going to start this video with a quick analogy most of you will be familiar with the insects, moths, and butterflies. Moths are seen as ugly creatures, an annoyance, vermin, and are okay to exterminate. Whereas butterflies are seen as beautiful insects, colourful, pristine, and should be protected. Now, the reason I've brought this up is because these two insects at face value are extremely similar in terms of anatomy and life cycle. But the most striking difference is that one was blessed with beautiful colours, therefore seen as valuable, while the other was cursed with ugly colours, therefore seen as worthless. Just some food for thought to start off. Now looking at the clip, I have absolutely no way of verifying this, 
But I could bet any money that the man who approached this woman was certainly a sub five ugly guy. Sub and five, sub five. Everybody, everybody who's watching this video who's a sub five right now, put sub five in the chat. Put the reason I think this is because section. the way women treat ugly men and attractive men are literally light years apart from one another. For ugly men, women don't want to be associated at all. They see them as an embarrassment, lowering their social value, and at a worst case, dangerous. Whereas for attractive men, they are seen as safe, kind, and compassionate. Even studies show better looking people are treated better. This article from a women's magazine shows a study, on average, attractive male and female servers made about $1,200 more a year than unattractive servers. mostly due to the disparity in women's tips. That's right, women are way more superficial than society wants you to believe. So, back to my prediction of the man who approached this woman. I am extremely confident that he would have looked like this, a bottom 10 percenter in terms of appearance, because- All right, so let's just say that that's true, right? If this is a problem for you, right? Just don't, just do everything in your power not to be ugly. So, Let's just take him for example. He's a little bit on the bigger side, right? If if you care about this and you're like, okay, I want to have, I want to have the while I'm on Earth, I want to have the optimal experience, right? With women and just in general, right? If you are, you know, a little bit bigger, it would be advantageous for you to, you know, lose weight, get in your ideal shape, you know, sh get regular haircuts and shape ups. You are, you know, this person's a little unkept, you know. what I'm saying, um, find the best hairstyle for you. You know, uh, maybe try to find a better way to dress, you know, have better teeth, you know, if you can, you know, um, do everything in your power to, to, to have the optimal experience on earth while you can, bro. Cause a lot of niggas are getting different experiences, bro. And it's sad, bro. It's sad. Like it's sad. Like, if we... I, I know what it's like for, I, I know what it's like for girls to tell me stories about niggas that they've tolerated. And to have stories about niggas that they've revered. It's a different experience, bro. Do whatever you need to do to get on the good side. You hear some of her quotes? I am literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in the parking lot. Now, why would she be shaking after just having a man approach her? I mean, I can tell you myself, as a non-ugly guy, this is not the kind of response you'd expect from women. I Okay. I have two interview videos on my channel which both involved approaching countless women. I'd estimate about a hundred total. And none of these resulted in getting shouted at or having the women shaking after the interaction. Instead, for the most part, even the ones who didn't want to participate would be respectful and politely decline so we'd all carry on about our day. I was even thinking of getting my filming assistant to record me approaching the women, including the rejections, to show you how polite most people are if you walk up to them as an average or above average guy. But going back to this woman, I find it unbelievable she had this rush of adrenaline, her fight or flight response kicking in, and felt a need to record a TikTok announcing to the world her trauma just for being approached by a guy in the parking lot. To be fair though, that's not really 100% fair though. She could have some trauma with part, like, you know, women, bro, as a person who has a fair amount of friends that are girls, like, they go through shit on a daily basis that I have no motherfucking clue. Like, I'm fucking oblivious, bro. I'm outside at one o'clock in the morning by myself with not a fucking care in the world, bro. Because niggas are, especially as somebody like me, like, let's just say you were trying to attack somebody, right? Let's just say you were trying to attack a man. I'm not the motherfucker that you're going to want to attack. You want to attack somebody that's an easy prey. I'm fucking built. I'm athletic. I'm youthful. Nigga, you going to get a motherfucking fight out of me. It's, I don't give a fuck if it's three motherfuckers. So a little petite, 5'2", light-skinned shorty with fucking pretty eyes. You feel me? Who weighs a buck ten, bro. Is gonna be, she's going to be like, oh, yup, she the one I want to fuck with. You feel what I'm saying? She the one I want to fuck with. And so girls have experiences all the time that we have no fucking idea, bro. My one of my friends, she just sent me this uh she just sent me this uh picture, right? Let me let me let me um let me find it. And right, she literally went to the bank, right? And some nigga texted her, said, "Hey." Then she said, "Hi, who's this?" The nigga said, 
I don't know. I'm not going to say the nigga's name, but it's blank. I was your teller at the bank today. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Am I overstepping my boundaries? How did you get my number? Then he put the emoji with the sweating and the smiling. Then he said, you inserted your card. I had your file. I can see it all. I feel like an idiot. I'm sorry. And so this is just literally one instance. Like this is just one instance of a situation happening. Like so many girls have been attempted to be sexually assaulted or niggas just be weird as fuck. So you are with a woman is with her daughter. She sees a man about to approach her. Like if he was attractive, if he was a fucking 10 out of 10 Leonardo DiCaprio looking nigga, would she have had this reaction? Most likely not. But to be fair to her, she might have had experiences that nobody knows about. So we got to I feel like it's fair to give her the benefit of the doubt, especially her shaking. I feel like that's fair. There's only two possibilities. Either she's the biggest drama queen in the world, or the guy who approached is the ugliest guy in the world. Quote 2. He was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me ma'am. For those that missed, 30 feet. This is just shy of 10 meters, so he's left 2-3 car lengths of space before approaching her. More than enough room to not startle her. He also said excuse me, which is as polite as you can get if you're going to walk up to a stranger. Facts. What it comes down to is, the man did nothing wrong. I repeat, the man did nothing wrong. And she would have never responded this way if a woman approached her, or an attractive man did. My point is, only ugly guys get this level of treatment from women. In fact, this leads great into the next point, because it's not just women who treat ugly guys terribly, but men too. Check out this video. Hey guys, I'm in New York City, just hanging out. Wait, that's um, that's near um, being that's 34th Street, right? I don't know what that doesn't matter. Hey guys, I'm in this is it's near that spot. I'm in New York City, just hanging out. <laughs> I mean, why is he in his face like that? Like, why are you in my face like that? I mean, you are unpleasant to look at, unfortunately for you. Wow. The facial expression says it all. Both men and women see unattractive guys as creeps, weirdos, and unworthy of respect and- Alright, but he didn't say a lot. He didn't say a lot. He never said he was unworthy of respect or weirdo or creep. He just caught him off guard. She, that I mean, you making that face, looking at me, just in my face, not moving, very NPC like, I'd be caught off guard as well. Dignity. I don't even need to analyze this clip because everything is just shown in his reaction. As the saying goes, every image speaks a thousand words. And if you're still not convinced of the points I'm making, just wait till you see the stark difference attractive guys get. This video will clarify everything. I'm gonna go raise up that girl. Look at that. Wow, man. This is why you... I don't know. I don't want to come off as like red pillars, but like I think this is why you should try to be the best version of yourself, bro. Because the nigga she with probably a cool nigga, bro. You probably go to the gym, you know, three times a week. You probably make like, you know what I mean, $63,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? He probably dress pretty cool. You know what I mean? His hairline probably a little fucked up, but he probably a cool nigga, bro. He probably a cool nigga. She a little barista. You know what I'm saying? He probably giving her quality time. But it's just like when you aren't the optimal version of yourself, you get cer you d you certain things happen to you that it's not necessarily your fault. It's just like you, it just so happened that that shit happened. Like imagine this was your, if this was my girl, bro, like I wouldn't be all the way hurt, but I would be kind of hurt. Like, damn, like you entertaining this nigga, you being mad weird, like you, like you not moving towards him the way that you would move if I was standing right there, so. You know, that's definitely an L girl right there.
Okay, there is so much more to unpack here. Let's get the elephant in the room out the way first. Notice how there was no shouting or dirty looks from the woman as the guy approached her. And although I wouldn't class the man as an 8 out of 10 Chad, he is above average looking at the very least, probably about a 6 out of 10. He's also young, has good hair, a good frame, and looks quite tall when you look at the height difference, maybe a fraction over 6 foot. So in terms of overall SMV, I'd put him as a 7 out of 10, which would be more than enough to not lead to reactions of disgust when approaching women. But obviously, because he's quite above average, we'd expect a bit more than that, which is how we get into the next part of the approach, where we see his so-called riz, game, chat, or whatever you want to call it, actually had so many errors scattered throughout. However, he was still able to get away with it because of his above average looks. For example, literally in the first two sentences, Asking her he, if she oh, has a, yeah, you don't ask a girl, are you single? That's, you just don't, I, I just don't agree. I just, I don't feel like you should. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a mistake. I just, I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? That's something that girls would do if they come up to you like, oh, you got a boyfriend? Like that's, or you got a girlfriend? You know, like that's something that girls will say when they come up to you, but girls don't really work on game. They just come up to you and just be on some like, yo, what's up? Like you jack me or not? But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, do you have a girl or are you single? Or do you have a boyfriend or any of those things? I would just talk to her, you know? Asks if she's single which is universally considered a mistake among dating gurus who claim to be experts in cold approach. E.g., I asked Coach Whitepill about why it's bad, and he provided a reasonably detailed explanation. Pause now if you want to read. But, in spite of his blunder, he gets away with it anyway. Now if you want to read. But, in spite of his bloody detailed explanation. Are you single is a direct approach which puts her in a judging frame immediately. Any guy below Chad Light is going to have much more success going indirect. Also, why you're cute wanted to meet you is a terrible opener. For true Chad, it's fine, but they can get away with it. Most attractive women aren't ever truly single. Wow. Facts. So a girl might have a guy she's just started dating and you won't uh and you don't want to be rejected for that i.e she compares you to that guy before you even get a chance to talk to her run some game she might have a boyfriend for one or three months and easily drop him for the new guy she likes but she tells you or uh, but tells new guy she's not single just because it's true uh it's better than asking do you have a boyfriend which can trigger her default liar rejection response but not much it masks good feedback mechanism for learning game okay mm. Pause now if you want to read. But, in spite of his blunder, he gets away with it anyway. Almost unsurprisingly too, because he's above average looking. This is how it is, and I even spoke about it in one of my earliest videos on the channel. As a highly attractive guy, women will let a lot of your incompetence slide because they'll let you compensate with your looks. Whereas, for average guys... Wow, look at this. Look at this fucking... Look at this chart, bruh. Look at this chart. This is crazy chart, hold on. Okay, so if you're a sub five, if you're five or below, no amount of looks is going to save, no amount of game is going to save you. You're cooked, buddy, on cold approach. Okay, got you. PUA zone relies on game. Okay, so if you're a six and you have nine or 10 out of 10 game, you can eat, bruh. You can eat, bruh. So that's, I mean, like, it, okay, let's just say you have the worst circumstances in the world. Like, you're just. As ugly as it gets, bro. Let's just let's just assume that this chart is true. Let's just say that it's true. I don't know. I don't really care. I don't think about that. But let's just say that this chart is true. If you can get up to a six, in theory, based on this chart, you can have pretty much any bitch, almost any bitch, bro. If you got nine or ten out of ten game, bro. So if you can get to a six, you can make a lot of shit happen. You can make a lot of shit happen. Um, still hope though. If you're six, you have hope. Spot a six seven, you have hope. Um, okay, now this makes sense. This actually makes a lot of sense. Like, if you have a five out of ten game, but you have eight out of ten looks, okay, you might you you right you teetering on this line right here, teetering, teetering, teetering. Now, if you have ten out of ten looks, zero, you don't need zero game. I disagree with that. No, nah, actually, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Everything you say needs to be more or less perfect. And you making one mistake will result in her having no problem cutting you off. Then lastly, for below average guys, no matter what you say, the woman has already made up her mind she is repulsed by you. 
And the more you speak will actually make the interaction worse. Oh my and her gosh. disdain for you will grow. Her disdain. Going back to the video, there's more examples supporting the theory in the chart. The man quickly makes another mistake by asking for her number very early. The problem with this is that it again shows his neediness. Instead, a better way of going about it would have been to have her invest in the conversation, get her to ask about what's going on in your life, then, after she's invested, she'll feel on level term, so then it's a higher probability she'll give her number. But, once again, despite his neediness, he gets away with it and eventually gets her Instagram. However, finally, the thing we've been overlooking all along, which is perhaps the biggest indicator to show looks can help you get away with anything, is the fact the girl has a boyfriend. Or, at the very least, claims, claims she does. Right, claims. Now, even if she was lying, it is generally 10 times harder to walk away from the interaction successful if the girl has slash claims she has a boyfriend. But again, the man was able to overcome this, therefore showing once more him being carried by looks. Carried I hope you were starting to crazy. get the point of the video. Carried the bottom by line looks. is, women only I'm not gonna lie, carried by looks is low-key crazy though. Because he did like, I mean, it's not supposed to be super hard. Like, he came up with intent, like, yo, I'm gonna talk to that girl. Hey, like, are you single? Like... That's just like the natural thing to say. Like, so it's not supposed to be hard. He just did what he was supposed to do. He came up with confidence. He came up, you know, with like, you know, a level of social skills. He came up with a level of presence. You know, he looked like clean. You know, he was, you know, just chilling and shit. Like, I don't, I wouldn't say carried by looks. I feel like that's a reach. To be approached by attractive men. And for those attractive men, the women will actually make their life easier, flirt more be more compliant and more likely to give out their number or IG. As the saying again goes, it takes two to tango. Furthermore, some will even go as far as bending their standards or relationship status to ensure things keep moving forward with an attractive man. And in contrast for unattractive men, women do not, I repeat, do not want to be approached by you ever. Even if you're asking for directions or something else innocent. Jesus At best, Christ. you'll get the blank stare, brick wall conversations with one word answers. And perhaps worst of all is the number of men who fall into this category is growing. Videos like the one at the beginning are like viruses. And the more people that watch these videos means there'll be more women wanting to protect themselves from unattractive guys. And then those women will want to make their own videos spreading the message even further. That's how certain movements, which won't be named, managed to gain so much momentum seemingly overnight. This leaves just one more question. How can you avoid getting hit by the tsunami? Or, what's the solution? I have two suggestions. One, obtain the knowledge if you are in the dreaded creep category, in which case you want to avoid women for your own safety. Or two, if you're on the verge of being a creep, do as best you can to improve your appearance so you can pull yourself out. And, with these two things said... You'll be pleased to know I have the tools to fix both. For the past two years, I've sold thousands. Literally thousands of face ratings sure. to you guys. So you can know exactly where you stand and therefore the level of treat- This is a good question, bro. Where- I wonder, based off of this metric, I wonder where I would stand, though. Like, obviously I'm not a 1, obviously I'm not a 10. 99.999% of the population isn't either of those. I wouldn't say I'm a 2. I wouldn't say I'm a 3. I would- I would say I'm at least- Okay, let's look. Let's go to the website. Let's just see, just based on the. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they fucking with on over here. Okay, so okay, if these okay, if he's like a seven, okay, let me pull up my OBS just to look at my face. Okay, this nigga is a seven. Uh, if he is a seven. Mm, him, I'm talking about him. I don't know if I can see my cursor. If he's a seven, he's a five. These niggas look low key alike, though. Why did you? Oh wait. These niggas look very similar, bro. I think his jaw might be maybe the dimples or whatever. I mean, I could, I could be a four, bro. I could be a three. I don't look that much different than this nigga. Low key. Then this nigga with the glasses, the, the black dude with the glasses. I don't look that much different to him. Could be a five. Does this nigga don't, this nigga look like a five? 
And this nigga, I mean, I guess, I don't know. And this nigga's a nine. Bro, I feel like the difference between these, uh, bro, I wish I could see my cursor, bro. But the difference between the, the black dudes in a row right here, these three black dudes, these three black dudes right here, one, the, the one, two, three in a row, top to bottom, five, seven, nine. The difference between these three niggas for real is like a haircut. That's the only difference for real. Like, they don't really look that much different. Honestly, bro, like. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Let's see. How much do I have to pay? Uh, rating plus analysis. $5 is just the rating. $15 is the rating plus analysis. And then $25 rating analysis and then looks maxing. Okay, I definitely... Uh, that's interesting. I low-key want to do it. I low-key want to do it, bruh. I low-key want to do it. I just want to see what niggas would say. I low-key want to do it, bruh. Like, key on it. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I'm not going to do it, but... Yeah, that, that's interesting, though. Treatment women will give you. I've also given tens of thousands of pieces of looks maxing advice. This is the main service I sell and the reviews which you'll be able to see more of speak for themselves. The prices are extremely affordable even if you've never bought anything from any YouTuber before. So I'd highly recommend my own service and you click the link in the description below now if you're interested. I'd highly recommend my own service. That's a, that's a line right there.